Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dean LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the new corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting with Hillsborough, Illinois, USA, presenting the challenger, the doctor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 24 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Ivana Mena. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. And we are underway. All right, round one is underway. This for the UFC Lightweight Championship, and the 155-pound King Joe has really been dominant on this title run here. You know how hard it is to retain this title, but he's made it look relative. Oh! oh huge right hand! Good defense there. How about that shin? High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Nurmagomedov. They're going after it quick here. 
switching stances here. No one hurt. Oh, nice combination. Oh, straight right. Powerful jab. Honing in on those counters. Landing a good series of strikes here. Level change there goes for the takedown. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Trying to spin to the back. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Reversal. Very nice. Excellent sweep. Winds up in guard. Back to half guard now. Excellent sweep. Oh, this is not good. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. He, he landed a left hand there. Oh, big elbow. He's back to full mount again. Reversal here, and into full guard. And he gets reversed. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He gets in the north-south. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he gets the clinch. He locks up double underhooks. He pummels out of double underhooks. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Full mount. Very nicely done. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. He's working from his back now. Trying to pass here. Hits the reversal here and in the full guard. Oh, he gets reversed. The next with a right. Trying to pass here. Establishes full mount here. And he lands a hammer fist. There's the elbow. Nasty combinations from the full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Now he's in guard. Under a minute now to go round one. And lands a good shot. He's now back to half guard. Posture's up. He's now working from full guard. Controlling him from behind. Now he gets the full mount again. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. 20 seconds to go. Looks like he's got an arm bar here. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's gonna sit back. Throw the leg over the face. It's very close here. Wow, that was close. Break the grip. And his arm's free. Wow, very close. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Here we see that again. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. starting to swell up a little bit, and that's fine. Not going to be a problem if you just... Brittany Palmer in the building. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh! 
Second round here. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. He got tagged there. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Mount! Full mount! He hip escapes to the full mount. Versus position. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. He's got his back. Excellent movement here on the ground. And he's back in the guard. So that's a good shot from the bottom. He postures into place. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. In the full mount. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Nurmago met up, getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Nicely done, reversal. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. He's established mounted crucifix. Big punch from the bottom. Huge a big elbow, elbow there. to the head. Inside control once again. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Sweet reversal. Zermago Medoff gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Nice punch to the body. And they clinch. Oh, he's got double underhooks here in the clinch. Good spot to be. And they separate. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. Oh, nice oh, oh. slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Well, he got cracked. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Side control again. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He's back to side control, working from the mounted crucifix. Big oh, elbow there, man, Lance. Man, that is rough. Big, Big body shot. shot. To body. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. And they both stand up. That knee might have landed there. Boy, Ty clinch now, Joe. A lot of damage can be done here. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. This could be it right here. Man, oh! Big straight punch. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he can change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attempt. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards Either side, excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's inside control here. The elbow is there. Nice job there by Nermago Metal. Oh, he's got an arm bar. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. And he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. Working from side control. 
And the horn sounds on round two. So the horn sounds after that round. Might have even been a 10-8. Big round there from Nermago Meta. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. And here it is again, another angle. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. That one hurt. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. Big punches. How about that chin? Changes his stance. Uh oh, he got caught. This could be it. The champ is rocked. He's in big trouble here. We could be seeing a new champion right now. Oh! He didn't miss with that uppercut. Yet again, he avoids the clinch. Another big sprawl. And there he swung with a haymaker. Effective jab there by Nermago Meta. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Excellent sweep. Tries to pass, but cannot. Full guard, nice reversal. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. He's back in the full guard now. They clinch up here. Nermago Medov's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, big shot. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Hard shot from the clinch. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Good body shot. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under two minutes now to go. And he looks for the takedown. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. He's able to slip the left there. Mixes it up. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice job to avoid the clip. Tags him. Oh, 
Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Oh, nice job defensively to sprawl and avoid that double leg takedown. He's looking to take the back. 30 seconds to go now. He's moved to full guard. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Trying to mount. He's got it. Full mount. Good punch. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and the fighter's eye is something that we're going to keep an eye on. No pun intended here. It's starting to swell pretty badly. It hasn't swollen shut, but if it does, they'll bring the doctor in. That is a nasty, nasty swelling that he's dealing with here. And here we see that again. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is underway, and now is where you really see what a fighter is made of, Joe Rogan. These championship rounds can certainly test the endurance. Both fighters have had their moments through 15 minutes. Who can dig deep and find the strength to get the finish here in these championship rounds? Oh, 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 oh. oh! In half guard. Good shot to the body. Oh, he got reversed. He's moving into full mount. Posture's up here. Now he moves to his back. He's trying to pass here. Nice sweep. Big punch from the bottom. He's moved back to half guard. Look at this reversal. Nicely executed sweep winds up in guard. He's now working from half guard. Big shot from the bottom. Excellent posture here. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Beautifully executed sweep. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Magomedov's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Nice sweep, right into half guard. Perfectly timed sweep. He's going for the north-south position. That north-south shows a very technical choke, and a lot of guys do it wrong. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way, clasp it, That's and that folks. will do it! He got choked, didn't tap in time, and went out. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke. And if you're not willing to tap out, as he was not, then you're going to go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold.
And here's the end of the fight. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. Well, many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result here tonight.